I and I honestly didn't know that until a couple years ago. Uh, I hope no one heard that. Cause if they did, we gonna be in some trouble. Yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Sneak Cartel. It's your boy Miles, and today we'll be unboxing the you know, a little bit of drum roll here. You know, I've waited 14 years for this shoe. 14 years. This is a DMP6. I'm kind of heartbroken that they should they should have retro the DMP pack because I could have got the DMP 11s. This is my second time having them. I had them once before. Um, I had them when the Concord release. We waited 26 hours at Stonecrest for Concord's release. Super crazy release. That's you no know, here, no there, but I couldn't get them and I bought the DMPs. I spent bread for the DMPs back then. I think it spent like $350. So yeah, I spent bread on that release. I, well, I spent I spent bread on copping the DMP 11s. Um, I always wanted the DMP 6s. I'm a huge fan of the Saints. Uh, I love black and gold. So I kind of, anything that kind of plays off of black and gold or like, you know, or kind of tied between black and gold. I like it, and especially on a Retro 6. I'm not the hugest Retro 6 fan, but when it comes to this silhouette, it gives you a real, like, I don't it gives me like a Batman feel, so you can you can dress it up, you can, like, it, it's a pretty cool shoe. I like it, but again, we're here with the DMP 6s. I have two, well, this is two pair that I have left. I ordered, I think I had six or seven pair of these. So I had, I took some, like, I, I sold a few, but like I say, I ain't really like hit nobody over the head for him. It's quarantine, so you know, looking out for people. Uh, anyway, super cool. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Uh, first off, you have the DMP box. It's to me, it's way different from the old original boxing because, like I say, when it came when it came out in 06, there was like a, a double stack box and they had like a sleeve on it, and you know, one side was a DMP 11, the other side was DMP 6s. But with this here, you have one single box. It's your, you know, um, if I'm not mistaken, the other sixes, they didn't have like this flat box. They had like kind of like the retro five box, so to say, where it kind of like dropped all the way down, if I'm not mistaken. Like I'm not a huge fan of the like sixes, or I don't really buy a lot of retro sixes. I think I maybe had in my whole time of like actually buying shoes and collecting or whatever, I might have had maybe four pair of retro sixes. Now ones, I can tell you literally anything about retro ones from the stitching. I can tell you about the box, the smell. Yes, the smell. I can tell you everything about retro ones. But, and retro threes as well. Retro 11s kind of, but retro sixes kind of like, yeah, all right, cool, I like it, I grab it. Um, but yeah, so with this box, you are you have like a three quarters, it's three quarters of it is like, is, is in this nice metallic gold. And then like, you know, one fourth of the box is like in this matte finish, like black. Uh, super cool, you have a black Jumpman right on the top. Um, there's, any, there's not, yeah, there's no other markings on the box. So that's pretty cool. I think it's, it's kind of different how they're doing boxes now. I wish it would have had like a little bit more spice to it, but it's cool, it's whatever. This is just a shoe that I really wanted. And like I said, I waited 14 years for the shoe. So I'm I'm glad I got it, and then I got I was able to get multiple pair. So I'm okay with that. Like I'm not even tripping on it. So once you open it up, your actual inside paper they're doing like I don't know why I don't know the significance. If you know why, go ahead and comment down below. Teach me something. Uh, the Jordan like unite that they they keep wrapping the paper with this like well it's like it says Jordan unite on the actual wrapping paper on the inside. I don't know the significance behind that. If you know, go ahead and let me know. So the double layer, wow. Actually, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go ahead and take both of them out so you just see like both of the left shoes. And I'm gonna take one out that have the gold metallic, you know, hang tag on. Well, actually I'll take all four of them out here. So the official release date on this shoe was April 18th. For both of these pairs, I used a bot which was provided through ATO.alerts. I'll go ahead and put their information down in the description. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this shoe is super dope. Um, it had an official release date of April 18th. It literally took me like 16 days. It took me 16 days to get this shoe. So I waited 16 days for the shoe. I'm not really tripping on it though. Like, 
like I said, it was worth the wait. If I could have waited 14 years, I can definitely wait 16 days. Like it, that, that was nothing. The retail price right now, or the retail price on this shoe is 200. The resale of this shoe right now, kind of, I don't know, it's kind of going up, kind of going down. It's staying steady. This is the sneaker market. The sneaker market is very much so like the stock market. Sometimes it can pay off way better than the stock market. Um, yeah, like I say, it literally, so for right now, this shoe is reselling in size 10 for two, 258. So for 258, I mean, that's not bad if you really want the shoe. The shoe is 200 already. So after taxes, it was 217. So you put a couple extra dollars and you got 258. You might wait a week for shipping, but um, that's pretty cool. I'm not, not really pressed on it. Like, I actually like that. So this is your 2020 DMP Retro Sixes. Like, pretty cool. I actually really enjoy this shoe. Um, I personally like majority black shoes, the primarily black shoes. Um, it gives you a little bit more, you know, it's like a little bit more versatile. Like you, you always hear me say, I love a versatile shoe. No matter what brand, no matter what model, if the shoe is versatile, I'm gonna wear it. Like I said, right now, I'm kind of in like the rebuilding stage of like my collection, because I had sold a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Like, <sighs> sold a lot. I wish I could get it back. Um, go ahead and comment down below at least one shoe that you sold that you wish you can get back. Trust me, I know I can count on four hands, five hands of shoes that I didn't sold because I'm like, cool, I can make the money, I can make the, you know, huge, huge, like, cap from the resale. And then, you know, a week later, two weeks later, either they went higher than what I sold them for, or I actually just genuinely missed a shoe. That I'd be like, I could have had a crazy outfit for that shoe, or, you know, I would have loved to actually enjoy that shoe on my foot. Um, not, it's not all the time that I sell, like, mo like I normally get everything that comes out, and if I get multiple, then I sell the multiples and just keep my pair. And, but sometimes I only, I'm only able to grab like one if I'm like super busy at work and I couldn't hit up none of my connects, but like I need multiple. So if I have one and the shoe is like 180 bucks and it's selling for 400 bucks, you know, I just go ahead and make a little cap, but not thinking, either it's gonna go higher or, you know, you actually wanna enjoy the shoe. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get straight into this shoe. Like I say, this is an actually super dope shoe. Um, starting straight from the bottom, you have a, your retro six outer sole, but it's kind of inlaid with this nice icy blue um, rubber sole. It's, it's split between the two with a nice matte black rubber on the, through the middle. And you have a nice gold jump man right here in the center. On top of that, the back heel tab, and I'm one, this is one thing I'm so glad about. This back heel tab here, the actual, you know, the actual real heel tab is a nice rubber sole. I had bad experience with completely icy blue soles just based off, you know, cause the, the back toe cap or the front toe cap is kind of what you walk with. So once you walk with that, that's the part that kind of yellows super, super bad. So I'm kind of glad, well, I say kind of glad, I'm super glad that they, you know, they did that. So. It's kind of hard to yellow, like, yeah, like, it's kind of hard to yellow this shoe, or I think it will be hard to yellow the shoe, because honestly, I know for a fact, I waited 14 years for a shoe, I'm not going to wear the hell out of the shoe. I'm going to preserve it, so this might be one every three or four months that I pop this out. But, like I say, it's cool. Like, look at this. So, going up from the top of your upper midsole, or going up from your outer sole onto your midsole, you have a, it's met with a nice black and gold colorway here. You're met with another gold metallic here, and there's a little hint of gold metallic right on the front toe. It's kind of like on the inside part of the midsole. I think it's super dope. Um, the color does look a little darker than they were from the pictures I've seen, so like say, that's 2006, so I honestly don't, I didn't see them like through the years or whatever, but I honestly don't remember the exact shade, but just like from the eyeball here, it kind of looks, you know, a tad bit, like it might be a little bit darker. If it is, it is, if it's not, it's not, but cool. I like it, I got them, I'm gonna wear them. And you know, I don't make them look good. Well, she already looks good by herself, but you know, you put your own drip with it, you know, you in there. So going up to the top of the shoe, above your midsole and your upper, I'm gonna show you a little trick. A lot of people don't know this, but these actual, people just think this is the actual, the actual shoe. 
but this is like kind of like a hidden message so to say this back here is the number two this here is the number three um i honestly didn't know that until a couple years ago and i can truthfully say that and you know you know some people are like oh yeah i've been know that you didn't know that like you would not think this here is it oh no is this way this here is a two and this here is a three for 23 michael jordan so you met back here with this same nice gold it's some kind of like plastic material back here uh it's nice like you know you can it's textured you can actually feel it and then right above that you met with a nice black uh embroidered jump man on the back on your pull tab back here you have a nice metallic shiny gold um kind of like i don't know it's just like an accent so to say one thing i do know um just i can just look at it from the eye i bet if like this start getting like rubbed against on uh, like with jeans i don't know how you wear your shoes but like i'm pretty sure this is going to fade this gold back here so i don't know what's a trick to keep that gold or i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure you're going to have to paint this back gold or this is going to come off to like a because this is just like a kind of like a gold finish so i'm not gonna lie that's not gonna last i can tell now so going back towards the front of the shoe you have a nice uh, nylon tongue, black tongue. Uh, it comes pre-laced with black laces. Um, like I said in the beginning, you have a nice uh, metallic gold dog tag here. On the back of the metallic gold dog tag, it reads Air Jordan, June 12th, 1991. Defining moment, MJ's first professional championship. Um, so kind of give it a little backstory on it. Uh, the DMP sixes were a part of the defining moment pack. This defining moment pack included the retro sixes and the retro 11s. And like I say, this was in 2006. This pack was created to celebrate Michael Jordan's first and second three P. Um, it came with a super special packaging. Like I say, it came with a flop box and I post a picture of it. I can find it. It was like a box that would kind of like flop open like a book. And on the, I think on the left side or yeah, well, I don't remember exactly what side. The left, let's just say the left side. The left side had the DMP sixes. The right side had the DMP 11s. The box, and it came with like this like little booklet. The, that was probably the craziest box I've ever seen aside from uh, Air Mag box, of course. Uh, what's another crazy box? The Nerf KD4 box was super crazy. I'm real big on like boxes. And now I honestly only keep boxes. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and order a whole bunch of like the clear boxes that go against the wall to actually put my shoes in. They kind of reinvented like, you know, the, the way to store shoes, so to say. But I think it's, and I think it gives it a nice cool look as far as like, you can take dope pictures in front of there. You can do an intro or outro or do like little scene for your YouTube video or for whatever you want to do with your sneakers, show your outfit off, whatever. Um, I think it's super, super dope just to have like literally, you know, I show, I show like some pictures and show examples of exactly what I'm talking about, but it's like clear boxes. You get them in like clear, you get them like black translucent. Uh, I think I've seen them in blue and red. And then I'm pretty sure they have some like some cheap ones like off of Wish or Alibaba that come in like different colors. But that's definitely what I'll grab. Um, and like I said, I think I can go to, I think I'm gonna go to the container store, honestly, probably this weekend and grab probably like 20 or 30 now. Cause like I said, I am in the rebuilding stage of actually grabbing like hella new shit. I'm in like the rebuilding stage right now to like go ahead and build my collection back. I wanna get to like a solid like 50, 60 pair that I can put in rotation and you know, Honestly, I probably won't wear all of them, but it's just the fact of having it. And then like I say, it looked good for like a wall piece. Um, this is gonna be super crazy. One thing I can say, oh, so up towards your tongue, you're, you have your, your regular like Jordan 6 tongue would have like two holes in it and like you can kind of pull it. And it kind of, like I always thought this, I don't know if it have any like significance to it, or like I always thought like a bull, you think of Michael Jordan, you think of Chicago Bulls. So like they have like these two kind of like holes where you can pull up like to put your shoe on. Now I don't know why I always thought like the actual like bull nose, how you can, you know how people like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so you have a nice lace lock here, which is a black lace lock with a gold metallic jump man on it. And like I say, this shoe is super, super dope. On top of your laces, you have like your lace protector or your lace, I don't even know what this would be, like a lace shield or some type of, I don't know, I don't know, honestly don't know what it's called, but it's like a patch right above your laces, it kind of like hides your laces. You have a, and it's like a nice, good. it's like a good, it's a good material. 
Um, it's black with, and it have like right on top of that same material, like that bubbled leather on the back with the 23. It's a metallic gold jump man right here on top of that. So I like to say, give it a real good look. Um, me personally, I'm gonna show some on foot pictures of it, but I think this is probably the best retro six that came out in a minute. I was looking online yesterday and I think they were called the infused blues or it's a retro six that was like a pale blue. I don't know the exact name of them. So don't, don't kill me for not knowing the name, but like I said, it was super dope. I honestly, I have to go back and try to get those. Um, hopefully they're not too much, but like I say, with one thing I can say is the quality control is kind of picking up a little bit at Jordan brand right now, because I was expecting, I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was honestly expecting to see a whole bunch of like kind of mishaps as far as like glue. I was looking for like stitch issues, but I honestly don't see, like just honestly, I don't see any like mishaps when it comes to the stitching, nor do I see any mishaps when it comes to like glue marks. Um, another major difference from this shoe to the 2006 pair is I think this pair actually is higher a little bit in the front toe caps, uh, a little bit taller when I say higher. Um, I'm trying to think of no another difference. Oh, here, the major difference. The actual new bug that it's made out of, I think the pair that came out in 2006, uh, don't quote me, it was, I think it was a suede or new book. But one thing I do know is, if it was new book, it was a higher raised new book. So you actually kind of like seen an actual like wave pattern, a, a, a color change pattern in the black. The quality on that new buck or suede was way different. When you think about varsity sixes from back in the day to like varsity sixes now, total difference. Like that, the suede that they used to use back then, I pray they bring that back. Like honestly, if they were to bring that that old suede back, like that kind of high cut suede, if they bring that back now, like and then charge 250, I'd probably be the first one in line. I wouldn't even mind that that shoe is that much you know, cause you're paying for the quality. Like I will honestly pay for the OG colorway or OG like quality. There's a lot of shoes that they don't do that. If I'm not mistaken, I think the OG pair or the 2006 pair actually was a little bit thicker in cushion for the ankle support as well. Like I said, there's, a, there's like a couple little differences from the OG pair, the, OG, the 2006 pair to the 2020 pair. So I'd like to thank guys everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm telling you, I'm sitting on probably like, with this whole quarantine and every quarantine just like finishing up and whatever, I probably have like seven videos. And it was, I don't know, it was just some crazy stuff going on. I had to get some stuff in order, but that's all over now. So I'm gonna be, con I'm gonna be consistently dropping every week. So Sunday, I'm still trying to like work on it where I can do a set schedule as far as like, cool, this day at this time, there will be a new video. What I will promise every week, but somewhere between Sunday and Monday, there will be a video. Um, shit, like honestly, I really have enough content right now where I can drop and I still have three videos to film. So that's 10 videos right there. I have enough videos where I can literally for the next couple weeks, literally drop two videos per week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just like that, we out and game. Crazy, you been getting straight to it. I done caused you many fights and I'm fucking on the street.